Okay, Coach, on a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Houston Texans. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. First carry for Bryce Love. And they are not going to let him turn the corner. Some serious pressure right out of the gate. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Let's put him on the buses. Let's put that. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Second down, Haskins. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he slides to avoid the hit. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Third down, here's Haskins. Jordan Reed has it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle. The ball should be there, and then they can get do some work afterwards. Here's Love. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second and two, Haskins. And this one hauled in by Tavon Austin. Touchdown! Houston, Tavon Austin, his fourth touchdown on the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Jim, 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 Jim. Kill, 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 kill. Now a give coming right is Breida. 
That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. On first down, here's Breida. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Bradley Roby, the quarterback, there to make the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. On second down, a run with Breida. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. spot but it's not a very generous one he looks to be about a yard or so short give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down on fourth down here's sam martin on to kick it away deandre carter is deep for the texans he gets this away it's a good one drawing toward the sidelines and they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13 yard line pretty good spot Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack. And that's what I'm seeing so far. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Now a give running right is love. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Across the 45. Give him 30 yards there. And that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. On first down, four. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shoot! 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. time he's able to take it down to the 42 nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run protect the young QB actually wrote that down believe it or not so how would you assess things so far I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down I appreciate that partner but I do think they've been able to do that maybe not as effectively as they wanted to but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB here's Haskins to throw this is caught inside the 15. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Give him 32 on the play. First down. First down and go to go. Here we go. Here we go. Give him the play. Check 56. I don't even know why this team showed up. On first down, here's Love. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Bryce Love, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Texans push further out in front. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Whip, 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 whip. Watch the whip. Watch the ship, watch the ship. Real life, real life, 22. <laughs> Throwing is Stanford. They'll roll him out right. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. And the Lions, first down. Check, move 60. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. he'll try the right side. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Big 
Stafford now to throw. And he fires one incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. And now it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Stafford. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there and a line first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Burita. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he gets it down to the 32. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now it's Brita. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Watch the twist, watch the twist. Slam, slam. They'll try the air now with Stafford. And that is incomplete. Geronimo Allison, the target there. And it'll bring up third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 18. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies. When they and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Matt Breida with touchdown number seven on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Prater for the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be fielded at the six. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Go! 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Houston. Bryce Love. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. to So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The intended target, TJ Hawkinson. And now it's second down. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Hey. The incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Watch the end. Hey, to throw again. Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And it's third. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Now Stafford. It's caught. Jones. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Stafford to Jones. Enough for a Lion first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt. Find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something Ready. right. Just Ready. remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was something that <laughs> couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. That'll be complete to Breda. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be second down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down. Stafford looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it, and his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. How, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. A new life now following the late turnover. Maybe a chance for points here before the break. Yeah, pretty nice situation they find themselves in because it really may be one completion away from giving their kicker a shot, and that gives them a chance to get some points up on the board. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On second down, Love. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. 
Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. This is third and one, very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. Check 26, check 26. to try and get the first and this one goes nowhere losing yardage on the play back at the 46 the Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half so on trots the field goal unit and wow this is going to be a challenge here this was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And the kick is good. He needed a little help there from the crossbar, but the carom goes his way. So make some room next to Tom Dempsey on the NFL's all-time field goal distance leaderboard. That's going to go down officially as a 63-yarder. Let's not forget about David Akers, Jason Elam, and Sebastian Janikowski, too. So now Matt Prater at 64 has got a little bit of company up near the top spot. That was one heck of a kick right there. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I would maybe run a little swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Safety's creeping. 25, check 25, check 25. Hey. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Here's Stafford. They'll get this into the hands of Burita. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third down, a run from Burita. 
And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. So they will go for it. Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. Seven on the year. And the Texans push further out in front. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead is now 24. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Switch, switch, switch. Stafford. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. That one good for 26 and a first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Brings up second and 11 at the 49-yard line. Set. No 20. I got him, I got him. Kill, kill, kill. Under kill, kill. They stay on the ground again. It's Greta. They find some open field here. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. 27 yards there. A first down. Here's Greta. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. It's a gain of 10. Alert 3. First down. Alert 3. Rush in. Rush in. Rush in. They run with Breda. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, 
They've got to pay it off with some points. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They go to Johnson again. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. They come out here in the eye. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. On the sneak, it's Stanford. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field. And that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. Here we go on four. Stafford. And it's caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. So now Stafford will bring up the Lions and they'll go for two. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. White. A little flare, a little flare, flare, flare. Check 99, check 99. Check the backer, check the backer. Hey, hey, check 24, check 24. Check, check. Stay 50, stay 50. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> They run it with Breida, and he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time, and the try for two is snuffed out. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. And not a very good return at all, as he won't even get this back to the 15. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. On first down, four. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. At the 27-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. In your face. Shoot, shoot. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Top on, top on. It's a safety creep. Go, go. Check four. On second down now. It's Love. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Check 52. Check, check. 
They'll run again with Love on first down. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 12 at the 39-yard line. On second and 12, Haskins. He's going to get this to Austin complete. Tavon Austin, he's going to go. Touchdown, Houston. Tavon Austin. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans push further out in front. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one They're ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? This is Fielding at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And some room to run now. And all the way down to the 29. It's a big play there for the Lions. 47 yards on the ground. First down, Detroit. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Once again, they run with Breed on first down. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. This is Breed measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Ready. Waiting. Guys, game situation. Let's go. Check 24. Check 24. Check three. Check three. Check three. Check 93 is the mic. 93 is the mic. Get that quarterback. And I'll put me Back to throw, Stafford. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. To throw is Stafford. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need and that's exactly what they got done on the handoff this is Breda and he goes backwards here losing yardage back to the 16 so a loss of 5 and it'll be second down the run defense they have been porous at times today but not that last go around no they really tightened it up didn't they they finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed this time, they play the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Matt Breida with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. So now 
Now Stafford will bring up the Lions, and they'll go for two. Check, check, check. Kill, kill, kill. Switch, watch, switch, watch, switch. SOS, SOS, SOS. SOS, SOS, SOS. Slam, slam, slam. They'll try and run for it with Johnson. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. This one taken from the seven. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Let's go. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. They'll start the drive with Love here. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Staying on the ground, it's Love. And an alley to run! Takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' 31-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Four. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. Third down, four. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. 
I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But A throw for Galladay is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 17-yard line. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Houston, their very slim playoff hopes get a boost as they move to 5-7. and seven. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Detroit, that first win remains elusive. They drop to 0-12 now with the loss here. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Get ready, dog.